Hi everyone, this is Grace. Thank you for joining me. Today's, today I'm going to show you a few things that you will need for my next uh, resin projects. And they're very, they're quite cheap. You can find them on Amazon. I will put the few links over there just to let you know where you can find them. You could also find them on AliExpress. They're more or less about the same price, maybe a little cheaper, and it comes in a variety of colors. And let's go straight to it. So I'm going to show you many things here that I have on my table. So one of the first things I'm going to show you, of course, are flowers, dried flowers. You can buy them or you can make them. And what I like with all these ornaments I'm going to show you is that they come in little containers and it's going to be very handy because you're going to be able to reuse them. And I will do a video on how to make your very own lip balm. And I will probably use one of these that are empty. Anyway, so you've got some dried flowers uh, of all sizes, all colors. They're, dried flowers can really be expensive, so if you can make your own, I would recommend doing that. Uh, and I will try myself as soon as the, uh, spring comes back to do uh, some of these flowers and let you know. So I have a variety of flowers, of course, that can come into some ornaments. But first, I want to show you what I've done. So this is one of my, um, I just made a pendant and it's, I'm not so, so happy about it because it's maybe a bit too pink. I will do the same thing without coloring all my resin, but on a darker color, it comes out quite nice. And in real life, it's really shiny from all sides. I really like it. It needs to um, be completely finished, take away anything that is not nice, but it really is very, very shiny. It's very girly. I just want to show you this on other backgrounds, how it can look when it's translucent like this. So it's really nice. And I also have this one. So this pendant, I completely made it myself um, from the outside here using this metal and I've used UV resin again and these uh, were earrings and they were broken and I decided to use them as decorations and I embedded them directly into my UV resin and this is just a half part of a flower that I cut into and I've also put look at this on a dark background what does it do it's beautiful it's really glossy uh, not yeah well glossy from the resin but it has a lot, a lot of shimmer. I don't think that the camera will be able to pick it up because it depends on where the light comes from. Maybe I should do it this way, I'm not sure. I really want you to see all the gloss and the shininess of it. And yeah, so I will do one of these projects. It took me quite a long time to make this one because I'm not used to it. So I need to improve myself a little better. And I'll show you this. And my favorite is this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. In real life, it's a bit darker than that. It's almost as dark as this. I'm going to try to maybe turn the light down a little bit to see what it does. If you can see it kind of better. But I think it's maybe too dark now. But it's a really lovely blue. Let me put the yeah, the good light now. So uh, this is a piece that I just used a mole and I've just put a little layer of blue on the bottom and then just transparent UV resin and this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you use it on dark, it's also very nice because you can see the blue on the background in the background that is kind of little, um, it changes the color a little bit. Sometimes it looks lighter, sometimes it looks darker, and everything in real life is really shiny. And this is what I have put inside here that I'm going to show you. And on red, it's not bad either, right? And did you see the pearls? They have different colors. That's also what I'm going to show you. So these are a few examples. So, I've showed you the dry flowers. What is also very neat, what you could have, and sorry for my nails, but I've been using resin and inks, alcohol inks, so they didn't go off my fingers, so sorry about that, is you can use these little things. You've got some kind of glitter in here. Um, actually, these are little tiny stars that I need to go back. I really want you to see what I'm talking about so you can understand and choose what you prefer. So these are very shiny, glimmery um, little stars. 
that you can incorporate. And again, you can use all of what I'm going to show you can be used for UV resin or regular resin. You also have this kind of glitter. It's quite chunky. It's a big, it, it's a big, it's not the very fine glitter, which of course you can use, but this is not nice in a background that could be lovely. I've got few hearts and circles in here of different colors, and they're not expensive at all. You could find these normally in your craft store, probably Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. And these are microbeads. Microbeads are something very useful because it's going to fill up your background in no time and you don't need to put that much. So even though it's very small, you're going to use them, uh, you know, it's going to last quite a, t a long time. You can also have microbeads like these. That's what I bought on, uh, on Amazon. Any color that you like. And what I really loved also were all these little bottles here this this little these little containers and you have it looks like I need maybe another color to really show you what it looks like and I have this in a box um, these are like cat's eye um, shapes but they are like they're above glitter you know they're very chunky they all have the same size um, and the colors are beautiful. So they usually come in a pack of 10 or 12 colors. Look at this color, this orangey color. I also have this orange. It's a more peachy. I know it looks yellow, but this is yellow. Look at that. That's a more peachy color. I also have this orangey one, a darker one here. Look at this. Looks pink, but it's really orange as well. And they're beautiful. This, you can incorporate these in your creations. Whole bunch of colors. Look at these. And they change, you know, depending on how you look at them. Look at these. They sometimes look purple, some kind, sometimes look uh, gold or pink. The same thing here. And it has a lot of light reflection. Look at this. This, in reality, looks a bit more... Um, bluish green with a lot of gold inside. This one is an AB color. It changes depending on what you have next to it, even though it's got a more bluish or pinkish color to it. This is a more blue color. But again, a lot of gloss to it. A darker green with a lot of uh, gold inside. Pink color. And that's it for these. And of course, you've got also this kind of uh, glitter, even though in here, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it. Just being careful, I'm not going to spill any, but inside here, you've got big chunks and you've got tiny, tiny, tiny piece, pieces of glitter. Can you see the big chunks here? You can see some here, there and there. Uh, they're quite bigger and in the bottom you have all the small pieces. Also very shiny. You can use these. And normally these things are are made for nails. But I mean, I'm not sure, and I will show you even worse later. Not worse, but something much bigger. I wouldn't really use this on my nails or maybe for a party. Look at this one. I've got three holographic. So these are the smallest. Smallest the whole graphic. Look at these. Beautiful. This is the middle size. There are circles. And these are the biggest I have. You probably can find even bigger. And they are squares with some lines. In them. Look at this. Gorgeous. And um, that's for this kind of glitter. Or That's good. And I store them in a box. Actually, I'm going to show you the box. Sometimes storage is important because I really want to have everything, you know, well put. So I'm just using a old cigar shape that uh, that was given to me, and I store them in this in this piece here, and that's good. It's a sturdy box. I'm not going to lose anything, and I'm going to put all my dry flowers in here as well. And I left the best for the end. I've got all these things here that are normally nail art ornaments. And but they're great and they're not expensive. It's about between two, three, four, sometimes five dollars. They also come in these 
box with the lid on. Be careful. Sometimes there's uh, static electricity. Don't when you open your lid, you might have a, some of the pieces that falls out that fall out. So I'm gonna come again a little closer, and they are just beautiful. So I'm gonna start with these. I'm gonna take my dark piece here. And this is kind of very small chunks of a, I don't know if it's a natural stone or not, but it has an AB look to it. It might be some natural stone or something, or shell. I think it's maybe shell. It looks like shell, but it's very soft colors. It's mainly white, but you also have a lot of pinkish color and light blue like pink but it's in real life honestly you can't see it but the pieces are really small small chunks and I have another one with bigger chunks here and I want to show you this because sometimes you know when you walk your uh, your screen your computer you're not sure to what you're really looking at this is about the same thing, but it's pure white. There's not much color to it, but there are bigger chunks. And it really looks like it's um, it's a shell, the inside of a shell thing, you know. But it's not bad. It's It's got a nice look to it as well. Not that glossy, but not matte either, like in between, like satin. And, okay, let's go to another one. So I also have this one. That's probably maybe one of those that are not that interesting. Like tiny, tiny pieces of rocks, but some of them are glittery. Uh, there are some golden pieces, greens and blues. You might catch on that one. Yeah, I think you can. And what I think is interesting with this one is that it looks like sand, but it's more interesting because you have different colors here beige and darker browns, lighter browns. So they could, this could be very interesting, like a beachy theme on a pendant. Why not? If you can find some uh, little tiny um, metal or not real, I don't think so, but, um, you know, a starfish or something, that could be nice. So I'm going from the one I love the last two one, the one I love the most. So what this is what you will find the most is that you will have in all these little boxes micro beads. So these are translucent micro beads that change color a little bit. And you will have these uh, kind of diamonds, but they're not flat back. They really have this uh, diamond shape. And these are quite translucent. They don't really have any color to it, even though they, they are very bright they don't really have any color. They're just plain translucent, okay? You can see this here. And I'm gonna show you something a little different so you can really compare, is this one. Okay, you can see the difference in the colors. These are more AB style that reflects all kinds of uh, purples and pinks and greens and blues. And what you also have in this one, I think there was also in this one, but I took them off. I use them up, is that you have tiny little objects objects that are normally made for nails, but I would not use these for nails because I think they're really thick. I'm not even sure how I would know how to use it, but look at this. Look how thick this is. I mean, if you put this on your nail, it's really gonna be thick, but you've got little ornaments in here. So usually it's you should know that there's more gold than silver color so I'm going to order some that has more, uh, whoops, and use a good tool to grab onto this because you're going to spread all your little uh, micro beads around. Make sure you're not losing too much. But you have these different ornaments inside. So this is like a Y shape. Really, you're going to have to come closer. Um, what else do I have in here? Um, there can be some just odd shapes. This is just a shape. Nothing special. There is a little circle with a hole inside. Where is it? It's here. So tiny. But they're really nice, honestly. And they're very shiny as well. 
Let me see if I can show you this. Do you see it? Yeah, I think you can. All right, so you've got different elements, sometimes bigger than others. You have another one that is bigger here, I guess. Yes, just a plain circle. It looks like a jump ring, but it's flatter. And sometimes they're really big. And concerning these um, diamond shapes, look at this. They're quite thick. I would not imagine if I had to put this on my finger. Look at that. I would scratch my nose, I guess. And they come in a variety of colors in the same box. So you've got tiny ones and you've got much bigger ones. And I really love the look. They're, look, they're so shiny. So that's just one example. You never really know what's going to be inside. So that's one color. You've got also these. I love this color. It looks like, you know, champagne, like light browns. And in here, it's a little different. Um, you don't have any micro beads in this one, but you have big jewelry pieces. So you've got, and they're organized by color which I like. So again, there's a lot of gold in here. There's not going to be any uh, any silver. Different shapes. A lot of this um, drop one. And there's going to be also smaller uh, embellishments. So you see, this is the biggest one. This is the smallest one. And you're going to have, and these are flat backs, except this. This has dimension to it. It's kind of flat, but it's quite thick. The others are flat back. So we're going to have different sizes in between there, which I think is also quite interesting. Maybe I should show you this on white now. Yeah, I think it's better. Because I really want you to see the colors. But they're great. Really, they're nice. And you have, again, different sizes in here, different shapes. This is just a half circle. It's not broken. It's normal. You've got some others here. Okay, this looks like a moon or it could be a C. There is a thicker one. I know it's about the same. I would guess that there are other shapes in here, but it's just to give you kind of an idea of what's in here. I'm going to put this back inside. All right. I mean, it's so gorgeous, really. It's organized kind of my color. I'm going to show you the blue one. Whoops, and you see? No, maybe it's too small, but there's some of it that came out of the box just when I opened it. Uh, I think I'm good now. Oh, no, I've got a few more. All right. So again, maybe I'm... Is it zooming in? I hope it is. I'm going to just... Maybe, yeah, that's going to be better. Look inside here. Again, another shape. This is more round shape. And, oh, you've got different shapes in this one. Different shapes. Look at these. The circle, a drop shape, uh, a rectangle. You've got some of these in different, they're flat back. These are flat back. Different sizes as well. And you've got micro beads. You've got this one that is really nice. Look at that. It's look, it looks like it's hammered. Uh, you've got the star here. It's exactly the same star that I used in my um, pendant, in my blue pendant. That's the star I've used here. Okay. And there is a good side. It shows that there is a good side and a bad side. Oh, this one is interesting. Look at this one. Look at this one. I hope you'll be able to see it. It really looks like a precious one and it takes a lot of colors. It's kind of AB as well. Changes colors. Yeah, sometimes it looks blue depending on, you know, I've got the blue underneath. Oh, and there's a long one as well. Wow. Wow. I didn't notice that before. I couldn't see them. And another shape. Oh, good, 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 good. I love that. I love that. So they're really nice. Look at these. For about, I, okay, like, again, between two and three, four, five bucks. Okay, and a lot of micro beads in here. 
So really, I think it's worth your money because you don't have to use it all up at once. You're going to make a few jewelry pieces with these. Of course, maybe depending on the size, you're going to make it. Let me put this all back in. All right, let me show you another one. Oh, I love. It's these two. Look at these. Look at the colors. So I think you understood now what's inside, so I'm not going to go there in details because there are going to be other kind of shapes. You can have triangles, squares, uh, but look at the colors. You don't even really think to think about it. You just use what you have in one little bottle here and you have your pendant. Just spread them around. I just, I'm in love with these. I'm going to order more of these colors. They're beautiful. And oh, yes, I need to show you this. The um, pearls here can, ha can have a different look. They, they're not even. The color is not even. Look at this. You've got blue on one side. Whoops. Where am I going to put it? Okay, you've got blue on one side. It's not straight. And you've got pink on the other. Can you see this? Now you can maybe see it better when it rolls. So that's interesting. So make sure when you put it into your piece, your resin, you put it the right side you want. Or maybe just here, you have half the pink and half the green. And they're all the same. They have different colors, except maybe the biggest one that is, oh no, even the biggest one. Look at that. One side is white, and then, poof, like magic, you have pink, green, white, and even a little bit of yellow. So, hey, I don't have any pearls that do that. So that's also great. Let me show you another one. Oh, uh, yes, this one. This looks a little bit like uh, this one here, but it's in color, like small little tiny, tiny pieces of broken, I don't know what. It's, it's, I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe stones, maybe sea, uh, sea stones. It looks more translucent, but the colors are beautiful. But they're not microbeads. They're, they're really chunks, okay? They're really chunks, but tiny ones. And I'm going to show you this also, because they come in a variety of colors. They come in this wheel box. So these are flat back uh, models. Let me show you the, the biggest one here. This one is AB, okay? Kind of AB. They have different colors to it. Pink, blue, again, depending on how you look at them. So here you have from the smallest to the biggest. That's how they're organized. Okay, smallest to biggest. And you've got also these. Look at that. On black, it's beautiful. They look like diamonds. Do you know how you would... Yeah, I can't even imagine the amount of money if they were real diamonds. But look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, from the tiniest... Do the biggest, flat, I think they're flat back. Um, you also have these. These are more like micro beads, but they are not round. They're more like oval shapes. And they come again in a variety of colors, some metallic, some translucent. These are translucent. These are just like gunmetal color. And you've got these also like metallic, pastel, AB looking. And these are old gold. Yeah, it looks like an antique gold. And you've got also these. So these are more like, um, a bit like glitter, but bigger. And they're all round. But you've got some metallic ones that are beautiful here. And look at how shiny they are. And you just twist it. Okay, that's the opening. And you just twist it and take whatever you need out. So... I think they're about all the same size, but they have different colors to it. All right? And finally, but not least, I'm sure you have home a lot of things that you could think of uh, incorporating into your pieces. Like I have these decorations. Uh, I have a whole bunch of different colors, 
and I'm going to use them in my in my pieces. I have already used them, but you can't really see that much here, but they are in this piece. So it looks really dark, but when you have it, it's not that dark actually, okay? So be careful about that. And I have different colors, pink, purple, blue, green, of course. Um, and and that they're very nice, and they're flat back, so that's also good because they're quite thick. So think about broken jewelries like I just used here that you can use also into your pieces and make your very own. Nobody else is going to have the same. So this is it. I really wanted to show you this because before doing my next project, which will be maybe kind of these two, but in transparent, completely transparent, um, because I still want to use some kind of pinkish color. I think it's going to be great. This one is maybe too childish, I would maybe think. I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Tell me, really? I, I, I wonder, but yeah, these two are obviously my favorites. Looks old, looks really modern, but mm, beautiful. And this blue in real life. Oh, believe me, it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I wanted to show you this. So, because it's just an entire video for itself, and uh, before doing my next video, which will be how to use all these pieces randomly into, randomly, but you think, you still need to think about it a little bit before, uh, into your resin. So if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you just want to come and say hello, please leave your comments in the description box below. I will put links to uh, where I have found these. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and please like this video. It's very important for my channel if you like and comment and share on social medias. It helps my channel grow a little faster. So thank you very much for being here again. Happy New Year and see you soon for the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.